Hi, this is Jeff Berger I'm with AMS Controls and we're going to do a quick demo on the Fold Guard system and how it operates and how it should operate on your machine. Um, <clears throat> there are five basic elements of the Fold Guard system. Uh, they all work together to, to make the system work properly. Uh, first off, we have an, uh, an HMI, which is our display, it tells us everything that Fold Guard is doing, um, tells us of any errors that we have, tells us if that Fold Guard is working properly. We have a transmitter, which will always be on the right side of the machine. We have a receiver, which receives that transmitted laser and tells us uh, where, if our front, middle, or rear lasers are uh, blocked. On the, usually either in the electrical panel or on the opposite side of the machine, we'll have the actual fold guard PC, or the, uh, the what they call the PCSS. And if you want to get a, a shot of that real quick back side of the machine, give you an idea of what that looks like. That's the brains of the fold guard system. Okay. And also uh, on the back side of the machine attached to the, uh, especially on a Yorn, to, uh, the cylinders that move the clamp up and down, there will be an encoder attached to that. Uh, we're going to include a picture of that since this is a demo machine and, and our encoder is built inside of here, so we don't want to show that to you. Um, so we'll show you a picture of the actual installation of that. Um, real quick, go over how these uh, items interact with each other. The laser is designed to protect the clamping surface. Um, we have two lasers. If you get a picture of this, you can see I have... Uh, please don't stick your fingers in the machine. I have a, <laughs> This is a demo, it will not hurt me. Uh, but you'll see there's two actual lasers. Uh, one, the lower laser is uh, placed four millimeters off the clamping surface, and the other top laser will be approximately 12 millimeters off the clamping surface. The distance between these two lasers is set by the transmitter, so there isn't a setting there. We would basically only set the, uh, the lower laser to that. Um, a quick test for everyone, whenever you are um, you want to test to make sure that the height of your lasers are set properly, you can do that by measuring. What I'd like to do is set a square on here, and I'll get a quick measurement of the height of that lower laser. But I also like to run this all the way down the clamping surface. Just gives me a quick visual that the laser is running flat across the surface, and I haven't been bumped out of alignment here. Okay. So let's get a quick view of the HMI itself. This will tell us everything we need to know about um, the way it's currently operating. If you look over here, we have a, a digital representation of the lasers themselves. And uh, so if I block these lasers, what you're going to see, we'll use a square. You'll see I've blocked the front laser. I can block the top one, the lower one. And it tells me which one is actually blocked. If I move in the square a little closer, now I've blocked the middle laser and I've blocked the back laser. Um, if any one of these are blocked before you try and lower the clamp, we're going to get some different results and we're going to go over that here in a moment. Um, I want to talk a little bit real quick about the front, middle, and rear lasers. Uh, the front laser is designed to protect your fingers, so if you see I stick my fingers in here before it even gets into the clamp, I'm going to have a blockage, and I'm going to see that on the screen. The middle laser is, again, most likely to, to protect your fingers, um, but um, it, it's a little bit further into the machine, and then we have a rear laser, which is designed to protect somebody from coming in the backside with their hands. Okay. So. Let's talk about the functionality of this, um, of how fold guard should operate. With the clamp open and nothing blocking these lasers, I should see green all the way through here. A and B lasers, I should see green. If I see red on any of those lasers, it's not. It, it, what's going to happen is it's going to treat it as a, as a blockage, and we'll go over normal operation and we'll go over a blockage operation. Uh, currently, we don't have any lasers blocked, and what uh, the system is going to do is it's going to ask me to run through an overrun test. Now, I just powered up this machine, so it thinks that I had to power off all night, and now I, I need to start this machine up. So what FoldGuard needs to do, it needs to verify some things on your machine. Um, 
it's going to tell me to run an overrun test. And if I look here, I see an action. The action is telling me to push, press the foot pedal. These buttons are going to simulate my, my foot pedals. So the first thing I want to do is I want to do a foot pedal press. If we watch uh, the clamp, it's going to lower and it's going to stop. It tells me the overrun test passed. Okay, so I want to, it tells me to release the foot pedal. Now, what did it do here? There's an encoder on the back side of this machine. We're not just protected by lasers with this system. We're also uh, using an encoder to measure the movement of the clamp and how fast the clamp is going and how fast the clamp is stopping. So what that test just did is it, told, it verified that one, when I pushed the clamp pedal, that fold guard saw that I was trying to lower, lower the clamp. It attempted to lower the clamp and then it saw the movement from the encoder on the back side, and then it attempted to stop the clamp. So what it did was is it monitored how long it took the clamp to stop, and as long as it was within an acceptable limit, I've got an overrun pass. If for some reason FoldGuard attempted to stop that clamp and it did not stop, or it did not stop in the, in the uh, acceptable amount of time, I would have gotten an error. Okay? <clears throat> Next thing it's going to ask me to do is set the mute point. What's the mute point? Okay, that, that's confusing for some people. What the mute point means is there are certain points in which this clamp is going to interrupt these lasers. The system uses the encoder um, to determine where these lasers are so that way it can mute itself so when the clamp passes through the lasers it doesn't cause false stoppages. Actually what happens is two millimeters plus or minus these lasers, it will mute itself. So you do lose protection of this laser two millimeters above and below each laser. Which is fine because we have two levels of lasers and when we're below, this is set at four millimeters which is lower than the acceptable level. So we're still protected, we still have the maximum level of protection, but we're trying to eliminate uh, false stoppages. Also, what we're doing with this next test is we're allowing a fold guard to reference itself. So what it's going to do when I push the foot pedal, and it actually says press foot pedal, it's going to lower itself until it blocks the top laser. It stopped. As you can see, it says sensors blocked, action release foot pedal, and it's going to say to confirm that mute point. So what we want we want to make sure that it did block the top laser, which is did. Now fold guard knows exactly where that top laser is. Okay? We hit set. And what should happen is I go to normal mode, ready to clamp. So I'm going to demonstrate to you now what normal should be, uh, which would mean that we're lowering the clamp and uh, we don't have any obstructions. So as you can see, the lasers are clear. I'm going to go ahead and lower the clamp and you see it went all the way down. We did not get a safety stop. We did not get um, any slow speeds. Okay, so now I'm gonna demonstrate what an obstruction would look like. I'm gonna use a square because I don't wanna stick my fingers in the clamp ever. So as you can see, I've blocked, I can see from this screen, I've blocked the front laser and it's in red. So now when I try and lower the clamp, it's still gonna let me go down. When I push the foot pedal clamp once, I'm going to get a sensor blocked. This is my indication that you have a blockage. You need to be aware of your surroundings and before you push the uh, clamp pedal again. So I'm going to release that pedal, and I'm going to simulate that we cannot remove this obstruction. So if I do not take my fingers away or there's something else blocking the laser, when I push the foot pedal again, it's going to come down in slow, and it's going to stop at the safety stop and indicates that by telling me on the screen I'm stopped at a safety stop. This safety stop is a programmable in the settings of full guard, so I can set whatever height I want as the safety stop, and that is supervisor uh, code driven, so I can block that out from operators. So now I must, I'm must forced to release the pedal again, and when I push this pedal again, it's gonna go ahead and clamp, okay? At that point, I can release that up. If I move the obstruction, as you can see, I go back to normal mode, and I'm ready to go. All right, so let's simulate a, an obstruction, an inadvertent obstruction. Say I have my hands up against the machine. I've blocked the front sensors again. 
If I go ahead and drill to this, it's going to tell me the sensors are blocked. At this point, I realize, oh, those are my fingers. I should probably get them out of the way. So I'm going to release this. I'm going to remove the obstruction. I, I see that I have green lines. It's going to allow me to go all the way down without, a, without an issue. Okay. Um, we have another mode in FoldGuard. Um, it's called Hemming Mode. I recommend most cus most of our customers run in Hemming Mode. And the reason is, is um, you're not going, most likely you're not going to set up your machine to run hems for a, a long period of time where you would want to go in and uh, set it, turn it from normal mode to Hemming Mode, from normal mode to Hemming Mode. Um, your your um, hems will come sporadically. Uh, you could have four normal bends and then run a hem. So if we run this mode in uh, in Hemming mode, I'll explain the, what's different between normal mode and Hemming mode. I can go to, uh, let's, let's go back here, mode select. Right now I'm in guard mode. Now I can change that to Hemming mode. Now I'm running in Hemming mode, and it's indicated by this, uh, this screen here. It shows me a hem. All right, what's the difference between normal mode and Hemming mode? I'd like to first point out that no matter what mode you're in, the front laser is always active and will always act the exact same way. So the, what I showed you earlier with normal mode, the, anytime the front laser is blocked, it's always going to react that way. Hemming mode, what, it, it will treat the, the middle and the rear sensors differently. So if I'm running hems, chances are that hem is going to curl up in the machine and it may block the middle or the rear, or the rear um, lights. Um, and we can't do anything about that because the material is actually blocking it, not our hands. So the first time, when we're running hemming mode, and the first time it's going to detect a hem, the re how it detects a hem is it knows that either the rear or the middle sensors are blocked and the front is clear. That indicates to Fulgard that that is a hem. So the first time I run a hem, it's going to give me a block. It says hem detected on the screen. So I'm going to release that foot pedal, push it again, it's going to come down in fast, and it's going to go all the way down and, and clamp that hem and smash that hem. Now, since I'm in hemming mode, the next time it sees a rear or middle blockage, I no longer get stoppages. It's going to come on down like I, I don't have an obstruction. And that's going to, what happens is it sets a 30 second timer from the time it detects that hem till the time it's going to reset itself. So for 30 seconds, I can run hems and I can block the middle and the rear sensors without uh, causing a slow or a safety stop. However, my front laser is still going to react normal. Okay. Once 30 seconds is up, the timer is going to reset itself and then the uh, rear and the middle sensors will be active again.